this is a presentation of uh, Story Planner Pro, the tool for creating uh, storyboards and animatics from start to finish. I'm going to create uh, a new story, so I'm typing the production, the title and the episode number for the story for which I'm going to create the storyboard. I can also set here the size of the canvas that is used for uh, creating sketches. You see that the first panel is automatically created, but first uh, I want to also to change the camera settings. Here I can type the resolution for the camera that is the, the resolution that is also used for animatics. I can also choose it from a list. I will choose the HD 480. And I will also set the fit to uh, horizontal. This is the way the camera will fit the canvas. The last uh, uh, setting I'm going to change is inside the preferences. I want to change the, the way the duration of the panel is displayed to seconds and frames. So you see that now I can enter the duration seconds and frames. So I can start uh, uh, to draw. You see that I have four uh, colors available that I can change. And I have also um, presets for the tool, four presets for each tool. I'm going also to change those presets. So I'm using the, the pencil tool right now to start sketching the drawing. When the pencil sketch is ready, I can add a new layer and then I can use the paintbrush tool to trace the drawing. I'm using uh, a different layer because uh, in this way I can uh, manage in a better way the drawing. For the final touch, I will also add some shading by using the airbrush tool. So I add a new layer and I select the airbrush tool to add the shading. Now I'm going also to swap the layer order so that the shading will be behind the brush strokes so that the, the drawing will be clearer. So this is the first drawing. For the second one, I'm going to copy and paste the panel. I select uh, the different layers and I will merge them so that the, the transformation will be easier. And I use the selection tool to select the face of the character. And flip it and place it again, back again uh, to the right position. Now I can also add some modification to this drawing. For instance, now I'm going to use the eraser to erase the mouth and draw a new mouth. For the third um, panel, instead of creating a drawing, I can add an empty panel and then use an external browser to drag and drop a drawing previously made to the panel. As concerning the caption area here below the sketches, it is possible for me to change the title of each caption area. You see that when a title is changed automatically, it is changed also in the other panels. I can also add or remove uh, text captions. And if I want to add some notes, all I have to do is just to click and type the text. When the text is written, I can select it and then I can use this toolbar to choose a different font 
a different size, a different color, or a different style. Or also in this case, if I have, for instance, a script available, I can select some text and drag and drop it inside the caption area. Another type of caption that I, I can add is the so-called sketch note. Here I can add an additional drawing to the panel for better explaining some detail of the main sketch above. For instance, in this case, I will draw a mouth with a, a tongue. Uh, with a tongue. Now I'm going to load a storyboard that I prepared in advance. This storyboard consists of 10 scenes. You see the sketches and captions for all the panels. I can have a look at it also in rose view mode, or I can also use the single panel view mode to have a better look at the sketches, or I can use the thumbnails view mode I can also set the number of panels displayed per row. Now I want to join all these panels so as to create one single scene with all these panels. So I'm using the Join Panels button. So you see that now visually all these um, um, panels belong to the same scene. I'm going to do the same also with these other two panels and also with the last three panels. If I want, I can also select uh, a panel and separate them from the other. I can also uh, click and drag to move it, to rearrange the order of the panels. Or I can also drop it inside a scene. If I go back to the columns view mode, you see that also here panels are visually joined. 